Up to one in three people who get COVID-19 develop persistent symptoms known as long COVID if they're not vaccinated. Professor Tony Gutman is one of many still suffering from a variety of symptoms more than a year after contracting the virus. My fitness is, is not what it was. I still have some aches and pains in my arms and legs and um, from someone who was you know, running between five and 10K a day, it's a very significant change to how I was previously. Professor Gutman contracted the virus in March 2020 after catching up with a visiting British mathematician. He then spent two weeks in bed, suffering from high fevers and fatigue. I was sleeping 22 hours a day out of 24. I was unsteady on my feet uh, and in fact collapsed a couple of times. I'd lost six kilograms in the two weeks. A marathon runner in peak physical condition, Professor Gutman was 74 when he contracted the virus. And although he's back running again, he finds it hard to do long training runs and has had cortisone injections to deal with arm and leg pain. I was training for the Boston Marathon, which I'd been accepted for for my 75th birthday. So I was about at the peak of my fitness. So many people who got COVID, even young, healthy people, are still experiencing long-term symptoms. And because this is such a new virus, we are unsure how long these symptoms are going to last. But we are still seeing many people suffering, even a year after contracting the virus. The most common symptoms of long COVID include fatigue, shortness of breath, chest pain, heart palpitations, headaches, muscle aches, brain fog, and sleep issues. We don't know why some people develop long COVID, but we do know that vaccination in many cases prevents long COVID from developing. Although there is no cure for long COVID, preliminary information suggests that COVID vaccines may help ease symptoms by boosting the body's immune response. And the best way to protect yourself from contracting the virus and developing long COVID is to get vaccinated. The difficulties that I currently have with, with, with running are minor, especially compared to some of the long-term COVID effects that one reads about where people can barely walk upstairs. So it's an absolute no-brainer to, to get vaccinated.